Hello everybody. I wanted to uh, just take a moment and give you a demonstration of one of the new resources that are in the Arranging Contemporary Styles course. And we've converted all the older 2D uh, videos to a, a thing called Sound Slice. Sound Slice contains the videos of all the uh, examples that are in the course that are related to the book. And uh, in addition to that, we have a scrolling score and you have a lot more interactive control when it comes to uh, playing it and using this as a resource. So I'm giving you a peek at the course right now. We're arranging contemporary styles. You can see in the top left here. And when we get to week 10, um, it's we're talking about funk. So if we look a little bit more into this week, we can see that we have a lot of examples. Um, the way the weeks usually start out is an introduction from me in a video. And then we have um, the timeline and what the basic instrumentation is of funk and then an overview some links and a bunch of the uh, folks that we're going to be talking about uh, stylistically and then we have uh, in this situation we have several sound slices this first one straight funk is actually the same one that's in the arranging one course but um, i'm going to just give it a play for those of you who have not taken arranging one it looks like this it's a black uh, rectangle which is the video and below it is the score but if you go down a little bit further, you can see here's the play button. Usually what I do to fill the screen is I hit the square here on the bottom right first. That opens it up. And then the next thing I do is there's a gear here to the bottom right. Click on that, which will change the zoom. So I can zoom out and see the score a little bit more clearly. There are other controls in here too that you can see and play with that are very, very useful. So I'm going to close that for now. Then I'm going to hit play. And you'll see the video appear on the left hand side. So you can see that it's scrolling while it's performing. And the other thing to notice is that uh, you'll see the band set up and the music is panned similarly to what you see. So the guitars are on the left, bass is a little on the left, piano's on the right, and the drums are in the middle. Now you can manipulate this video by just clicking this box. It puts it in the middle and you can zoom in and out. And I'm going to play that one more time. count off for every one of the examples and then we have the whole band playing you can also click and drag and loop sections And the loop, you just click back in the score. One of the cool functions of this is that, of course, the video can be zoomed all the way to full screen almost. And the sound itself can be slowed down, retaining the same pitch. So if I start it from the beginning one more time, I'm going to just slow it down after it gets counted in. See, right here at the bottom, it says 100%. And now I'm just going to... And it still sounds pretty good. So there's not a lot of aliasing, we call it. And you, of course you can pull it all the way up, look at it, put it back to the original tempo. And then also in, uh, in this little gear, there are other options for you to um, use the MIDI version. The MIDI version is available right here where it says recordings. There's a synthetic version here, which is the MIDI playback of the score where you can get more detail about um, soloing and muting, and you can actually print out the score. Um, you can also see the waveform going by by clicking here. So you can see. And you can um, see a keyboard performance of some of the parts. That's a guitar part being performed right now. 
So it's a very, very cool tool. It enables you to dig deeply into these styles. And like I said before, there's 23 of these in the course at their appropriate stylistic chapters. And this is just one of the ones that's in the funk section. So I'll play it one more time. Mm -hmm. 